Uh, hey everyone, today we're going to be using templates, which we learned about in the last lesson, um, to create a class, um, to create an expandable array. Uh, so basically, it's going to handle all the dynamic allocation behind the scenes, and we're just going to be able to add elements and uh, erase elements as we please, and uh, we aren't going to have to worry about the dynamic uh, like freeing memory and stuff because the class is going to handle it for us. We're also going to use templates so that the class is going to be able to work with um, uh, any type of data. So let's get started. Uh, I'll just call it E array for expandable array. Uh, Again, we have this template with the class T, so uh, in our private members, we're going to have a T pointer, and that's going to be to the actual dynamically allocated array. And then I'm also going to have a int, um, I'll call it size this time, and that's going to be the number of uh, indexes or elements in the array. Um, so let's have a constructor, it'll take in a size. Uh, Let's also have a destructor, since that'll be very important. Um, okay, let's add a void set element. So we take an index and then um, a constant t reference, we'll call that new val. And so we'll set whatever the data is at the index to uh, the value that we pass in. Um, Let's have a void, um, let's do an erase element, and then I'll take an integer i, and then that'll also, uh, reorganize the entire array so that everything is numbered properly. Um, let's do a void add element, like that, and then let's also add a void, um, let's see. Let's call this add end element. Um, what that's going to do is basically put one more value on top of, uh, of the array. So um, I don't really like this name. I might change that if I think of something better along the way. Um, OK, so let's get going on our, oh, let's not forget the little T thing. Uh, all right, let's do the constructor. We'll set, or well, we can't call this size. Call this L. Size equals L. Array equals new uh, T um, of size size. Okay, looks good. Um. Again, uh, this is a destructor now. All that's going to do is simply delete um, uh, our array. And then also set array equal to null. It's kind of good practice when you delete uh, some pointer to then set it equal to null so that you don't have it pointing to data that doesn't exist. Um, even though it is the destruction of the object, it still is a good practice. Um, okay, so now we're going to do the set element. First, let's make sure that i is um, within the bounds of the array. It needs to be less than length and greater than 0, or greater than or equal to 0, I suppose, because we already started 0. Um, then we'll set array i, we'll reassign that with the new value. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, what next? Erase element. Okay, this is the first method where we're going to actually have to reorganize the array. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. So what we're going to do here is, um, basically, 
we'll take a size, wait, yeah, this is supposed to be size, not length. Okay, let's decrement size by one, um, because we're erasing an element. And then let's make a new T pointer, call that new array. Um, so like that. And then what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to copy in, I'll change this to index because I want to use I. Um, I'm going to copy in all of the values except for um, the index, the one at the index. Um, let's see, we want size plus one actually. So this is a little bit tricky, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do if I is uh, less than index, meaning we haven't skipped the index yet, then we'll just, you know, do a one-to-one -one copy. Else, if i is greater than index, so once it passes index, we'll want it to do new array uh, i equals array i plus one. Um, because we've we skipped that value. Uh, and then I'm not going to put in an else because the only other possible situation would be if i does equal index and when it does we don't want it to be doing anything. Okay now let's delete our array and uh, set it equal to the new array. Okay I think that should work. Uh, what do we got next? Add element. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to have to do a similar thing again. Size will increase by one. Uh, new array. Uh, I should also make this index. Oh, sorry. My phone's going off. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> let's continue. Um, okay, so again, we're going to want to copy over the values, but once we get to index, so, okay, first, if i is less than index, then once again, we'll just do the one-to-one -one copy. Um, actually, I suppose that's, or well, uh, else if i equals index, because i equals index, then we'll do something like this, okay, and then else, meaning if i is greater than index, uh, what we'll do is, we'll go ahead and, let's see, new array i equals array i minus 1, I think, that should work. Um, we should also be checking here if index is, um, again, less than size plus 1 uh, and index is greater than 0. And then uh, I have to indent all of this. Well, I don't have to, but I like to. Okay, and then this is going to go, let's see, uh, I'm missing a bracket here for the for loop. Um, okay, that looks good. So let me just step through this, imagining if index is 0 and size is maybe 3. So size will set equal to 4. If i is less than index, which will never happen. If i equals index, then we'll do that. Else, if i minus 1. Okay, I think that seems right. We'll, we'll have to test it out, make sure. Um, okay, so we just did add element, I believe. Let's try uh, add end element. Let's call, let's call this push instead, because that's the traditional name for when you add an element at the end. It's called, you, you like push an element into the array. 
so let's let's use that. Um, there we go. Okay, so we could probably just call this add element method um, if we wanted, but I'm actually going to write it out because uh, I don't know. I just want to try see doing it this way. Um, so again, we'll have to increase size by one. T pointer new array equals uh, new T size. And this is going to be much simpler, I think, than if we had done it just by calling that other method. 